Autometer dash control. This is autometer part number DL1045U. This is for the 2007 and a half to 2014 uh, Chevrolets. We're gonna be installing this today and what the dash control is, this is an OBD2 uh, unit that is going to give you all of the parameters that your ECM will read on your truck and you will be able to display them in your driver control center, uh, your information center. Uh, so it's going to be a factory seamless install. Uh, there's tons of different parameters that you can display so it's a really really nice tool. Uh, if you don't want gauges or you don't want any of the other monitoring systems this is going to be the ticket for you Chevrolet guys. Uh, other platforms are going to be coming soon. Um, so w one of the things that's really nice about this is not only can you pick up all of the ECM's parameters and display them, this has also got an analog port for two different, uh, two different sensors, like if you want to do an EGT gauge or lift pump pressure or something like that, this has the ability to do that as well. So you're not limited just to just ECM uh, PIDs. So what do you get inside the package? So you get your little OBD2. You get your little OBD2 chucher here, which is the dash logic part. The you can see on this that this port is for the analog uh, sensors that you're going to be using, like if you do a lift pump sensor or EGT sensor. We'll talk more about that later. Then you also get your USB cord. So now what we have to do is, before we get started is we've got to configure the dash control to what parameters we want our truck to display. So before that we hook this up to the computer, we're, and we're gonna show you screenshots of everything that goes on on the software that is used to control this. The first thing that you wanna do is you want to switch your switch over to configuration and then hook your US, simple enough, just hook your USB cable into that and take it right in and plug it into your computer. When you plug it in the computer for the first time, it's gonna download necessary drivers, nothing that you have to do. This is gonna take care of itself on its own. And we're gonna show you how to fire up the software and get it configured. So now we are going to begin configuring our dash control. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is hook your dash control into your computer via the USB port. And when you do that for the first time, uh, it will come up over here and it will say installing driver device software. Uh, once the device software has been installed successfully, it'll come up and it'll tell you that it has done so, as you can see right here. Then you're going to want to go over to palmerperformance.com, and as you can see right here, and then you want to click and download the Dash Logic Configuration Utility. Once you download the Dash Logic con Configuration Utility, it will put, place it in the bottom of your screen, just depending on what version of Windows that you've got. What I do then is I just drag that down and I drop it onto my desktop, that way I know where to go find it. So. After that, I've got the Dash Logic software onto my desktop. I know exactly where it's at, so I can click on it. So I've got my Dash Control hooked up. I'm ready to configure the parameters that I want to be seen inside the cab of the truck. So you just open up Dash Logic, run it, and then you hit Connect to Dash Logic. This will connect the computer to the Dash Control unit itself. First screen is going to ask you which profile that you want to work in. in. So the dash control has three profiles that you can set up however you want to for every one. So profile one, two, and three. And inside of these profiles, I think there's eight different uh, uh, screens that you can have at any time. So there's tons of different ways that you can set this up. So I'm just going to work in profile one here. So when we're wanting to set what parameters that we will see inside the truck, we want to hit the driver information center, DIC. This one you can see we've already done this, uh, set this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here to page two. This one's kind of a, a, a simple one. Uh, this and I'm going to click simple mode here. So what I want to do is I want desired and actual fuel rail pressure. So I've got actual right here. I'm going to put desired here. So you go to click the drop down box and then we can do desired fuel rail pressure if I can find it. Desired fuel rail pressure in PSI, right there it is. Then I want to put none here at the top. So here at the top, what I want to do is the, the, each one of these you can have four different gauges actually running at one time. If you if you didn't tag them, if you just wanted to see the values, you could potentially have four um, inside of the profile or inside of that page of the profile. That's not what we're going to do here. We're going to leave the top line blank. So I'm going to click save here. 
then I want to double click the page we were working again I want to go into advanced mode in advanced mode this is where I can put whatever I want to is the title of this I can do fuel rail or how about this we'll just do real pressure all right so this is going to be I believe this was actual fuel rail pressure and I'm just gonna put actual Uh, you want to make sure that you don't go over 18 characters, so probably the periods aren't even needed here. We just put actual and desire, so you'll see in the truck what we come up with there. So safe. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set up alarm. So that's just, and that, I'll show you how that looks once we get it inside the truck. Now let's set an alarm. All right, so let's go back and let's go into alarms. Uh, I'm going to set up alarm one, so we want to do alarm enabled. Uh, we want to do audible the time that you want it to run. Uh, I'm going to look up PID here. So I'm going to find fuel rail pressure in PSI. Okay. Let's just say fuel rail pressure in PI, uh, PSI uh, greater than 30,000. Just a generic number here that we can change um, and then we want to hit save that will save it in that our that alarm actually I want to change it real pressure limit then I would want us and then the alarm is in the display in the DIC so that's how you'd set it up uh, there's other ways to play with that um, and then you'll want to make sure I did that right. It's actually PID number, um, PID number 2504. So I see that there. I want to change that. 2504. Yeah. Now, so I know PID 2504 greater than 30,000 PSI, rail pressure limit, DIC, and that's just a just a totally hokey one, but there you go. We can set that up and there we are. So the alarm will be set up and everything. So that has got everything that you will need to know in running your dash control. There's different things that you can do. You can put your name in it, whatever you want to. You can pick whatever parameters that you want to, but this is the basics of how to configure your dash control for the truck. Now we're going to disconnect the, the dash control just like that and take it out and put it in the truck. Okay, now it's time to install our dash control in the truck. One thing I didn't talk about in the desktop videos, I did not talk about how to set up the rationality for the EGT probe or whatever else that you decide you wanna pick up here. Whatever sensor that you get, the sensor will have an equation uh, in the instruction manual of how to set up its rationality um, for anything like that or what the rationality of it is and then you can totally set that up into um, uh, ex external inputs in the uh, in the program as well so dash control now we're going to go ahead and install it in the truck I'm going to switch the switch over to profile number one right here and then I'm just going to go ahead and hook it into the OBD2 then it'll flash power light for you You'll come up in the DIC here. Okay, it's not reading right there. Okay, I'm just gonna uninstall it, reinstall it, just uninstall it from the OBD2, plug it back in. Autometer dash control will come up in the DIC version 2.1. So the first profile that I had up that was the vein position desired versus actual, you can see that comes up in the DIC here, really clean. We just put our, our little logo in it. If you want to switch between pages inside of the profile, all you have to do is hit the door lock button. It's a door lock button, you get page two. And there's the rail pressure that we set up. 
and this will actually show this will actually show you actual and desired the reason why that's showing zero psi is because i didn't take into account that there's going to be uh, there could be up to five digits here uh, so 18 digits in 18 digits in total so that's not going to work with the actual and desired so what i'll have to do is i'd have to have um, just the I'd have to remember in my head that this is actual over here and the desired over here and then they'll tell me exactly what the measurements are so that's how you set that up but you just got to play with it um, but it just makes for a really nice clean install you hit the lock again and it goes through the different pages there's trans amp gear load these are all this is all stuff that was already inside of the dash control eight pages and we'll go back to page one there's a desire in the actual vein position in the truck so this has been the install on our dash control from Automator. this is a really neat little product i, I really like this because it just keeps the truck clean um you know all you still have all the other functionality that you need if you needed to see what your odometer and everything is everything that you need there you just leave it on there you can go back to the black screen in the dic and eventually the um will come back up the autometer will come back up so if you have a question on this installation or any of our other installations please give us a call you roll over the odometer here then it'll go back over to rail pressure so if you have a question on this installation or any of our other installations please give us a call again this has been the dash control from autometer thank you